Now for the trailer portion, what we're going to do is we're going to get these two bolts, one above and one below, so that the trailer sensor will be able to go right onto those bolts. And that's how we'll do the quick connect. So if we're going on this narrower portion, we can just take the two bolts directly, one through the top, and I always like to go leave a little bit of the metal plate sticking up. Um, when the piece goes underneath, make sure you've got the holes going in the same direction, and you're going in the same holes in the, both plates. And that just goes on there. Again, always install with lock washers and the nets. So we'll do that. Lock washer, lock washer, and that. one right there take a wrench on this side again the same 5 16 uh, threaded bolts here just tighten them on top and bottom there we go togo sensor comes up See right here we are too far down, which is not a problem. We'll just take that. We'll come up to that extra, next hole there. And we like these plates because they have a bunch of different holes so we can adjust that really easily. sensor is installed, the T-bracket is installed. Now we're, we have a flat floor connector here and the Togo trailer backup navigation aid has a flat floor connector and that's how it gets its power. So we'll plug that in to this Y adapter, that's all this is, is a two-way splitter. Plug your trailer back in so your brake lights and all your safety things are working. And plug this into your vehicle. There we go. And that's installed. 